Error. Tilt alarm engaged. Entering emergency reconciliation mode. Oh, calamity. This unit is currently in wait cycle. Please return later. Have a better than natural day. <laughs> How's it going, spacers? And welcome back to yet another episode of the I'll Outer Worlds. Down. In today, in yesterday's episode, we got somewhere. It took me a while, but I eventually found not only I, I eventually found the observatory. Oh wow! Good job, Ellie. Thanks. Bitch. You guys doing good? We made it. All right. Now we're on our way to the secret hideout where because we found yeah the last uh terminal clue for dead uh talking to dead men speaking with dead men dead men talking something of that something of that nature but yeah um even though we couldn't uh go and do i forget um Oh yeah, we couldn't turn in the phonographs because for some reason that quest glitched out. Oh. Like true professionals. Oh, they can see me. I should have put on my stealth gear. And now I'm oh. How's about you don't do that? Bam! Yep. Just get the gun with the biggest stopping power. And you win. You know the old saying. Man with the biggest gun. Woman with the biggest gun. They'll fuck you up. Uh, Demicles, uh, 35 BC. 3500 BC. <laughs> I fucking <laughs> that shit. I just fucking bounced past them like I was a little and nimble fox. Where the fuck am I going? <laughs> I've been there before. I've been there before. Okay, I have to be up top. That makes sense. All right, there, there. Let's go. Rat. All right. Sealed. Not to worry. Halt! The passage is exclusive to members of the Secret Society of the Super Science Sidekicks. To gain entry to the Sacred Sanctum, you must prove you are a true and worthy fan of the intimate of the inimit inimit of the inimitable, inestimable, incomparable Ace Exterminator Ultra Bald Excelsior. Interested? Find us at our following locations and demonstrate your worth. Enter the true fan password. Speak, friend, and enter. Task phrase accepted. One final task awaits thee, fair traveler. You must complete a test to achieve your to prove your bona fides. But worry not, it should be simple for a true fan of Ultramald Excelsior. Oh shit, I have to do a good thing I did skim over the comic, so I should remember things. <coughs> 
Plague of the Manty Man. What was the name of the Manty Mastermind second in command whom Archibald defeated in hand to claw combat? Dancing Queen of Eridana. Sissic Sassafras? Correct. In issue two, Attack of the Crystal Canids, what improvised weapon did our illustrious leader, Ultrabald Excelsior, use to exterminate King Alpha? Frankie Gat, the living gun! Virginia Yang, girl detective, the skull of King Alpha's own mother, I remember that. Correct. In issue number three, Invasion of the Flesh-Eating Sprats, Agent Buff Hardman foiled Archibald's heroic plan to liberate the underground metropolis of Hephaestus. From the Sprat Pack by doing. Um. Tricking Archibald with his dastardly mind control ray? Alright. <clears throat> In issue number four, the Colossus beneath Tartarus. How did Archibald ignite his signature weapon, the pet, and put the titular giant down for good? All about corporate shit, right? Facer's Corona cigarettes. All right, let's read the comics. Hold on, be a real fan here. Codex, uh, Gorgon audio now. Logs, uh, <clears throat> one of four. Uh, all right, I already got that. Uh, oh, number four. Really, it was a chance lightning strike. Okay, so it's not entirely, uh, it, it is corporate propaganda, but there is some stupid comic book anime shit going on. Okay. The bolt of lightning from above. Alert, the passage is unbarred. Enter as a brother or sister, Birdie, or you are now a genuine, certified genuine super science sidekick. Congratulations. Dude, I'm a super side sidekick! Guys! I'm finally making it in the world. This place looks like shit. This must have been where those researchers had their hideout. <sighs> yep. Ooh, money. Ah. Uh, they should have made that something I could read. That would have been great. Look at a basic exterminator, Archibald Excelsior. Plague of the Manty Men. Is that the pet? Oh my god, it's the pet. God, it's the pet. Guys. Guys, I'm gonna be just like Archibald Excelsior. Or maybe Felix would be just like Archibald Excelsior. Who knows? Let's equip it. The pet is a science weapon. 254? As opposed to that? Boy. Uh, this, loving, this lovingly handcrafted replica energy axe bears the striking resemblance to this pest extermination tool wielded by pulp legend Archibald Excelsior. With his famed pet in hand, the inimitable Excelsior exterminated a plague of manty men, a horde of crystal canids, a pack of super villainous stinging sprats, and a molten giant the size of a mountain, all while nursing a broken heart. Only a true fan could have crafted such an improbable weapon. Dude. Oh no. Oh, ow! Dude, this is sick looking! Dude, this thing rocks. Holy shit. That's really cool. I love this thing. Oh my god, dude. It's got... It's got... It's got tally marks. Dude, weapons with tally marks? Fuck me up, dude. Holy shit, yes. Yes, alright. 
not Tartarus. We're on our way back to Mini. Our job here on Tart on Gorgon's almost over. Uh, I'm assuming it's almost over. Who knows? <laughs> this could have just been like the first act and we still have the second and third act. I feel like it feels like this is towards the end of the This they gave me a pretty big area to go around. Like I mean, it's not big, big. But this is a pretty decently sized chunk of I definitely had fun exploring it. I'm sure there's a lot of stuff that I missed. Uh, but hey. <clears throat> and also, obviously, we're not just gonna go to Mini and deliver this. Yeah, no, 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 no. We still have our mysterious figure in the shadows, who I believe is Lawrence Goodfellow. But it seems more. I originally believed it was Goodfellow. It seems now. It may turn out to be, uh, what was his name in here? Gorgon audio logs, not Lucky's, or Lucky's notes. I feel like Lucky's got a lot more notes around town, around the place, and I haven't found them. Logs. Uh, garbage processing. Uh, where is it? Where is it? What's his name? The guy who seemed to be even above, like... Oh my god, do I not? Oh my god, it doesn't mark down, like, the terminals that you... Oh, that's... Oh, that sucks. I wish I had all the terminals that you went. <clears throat> Fuck, I don't remember his name now. Anyways, back to the unreliable. I would bring Felix to talk with me again because he really likes Minnie, but <clears throat> Parvati and Ellie have been with me throughout all of this. So I feel like the only app that You're I... adjusting before you pull. You're anticipating. I'm From this angle, it looks like Parvati's smoking a dude. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna rearrange some stuff real quick. Oh my god. Okay, so I thought I didn't get any more keepsakes from Monarch, but... I just found this. It's torn from Graham's jacket, sent to you with a note. I thought a keepsake might dull the pain, but it hasn't. Graham may have been a psychopath, but he still built the foundation for the movement I'm trying to keep alive. Maybe there was another way. I don't know. Gotta let it go. Abandon all hope for a better past. Say. Take it with my thanks. If you ever want a beer, stop by Stellar Bay. I have really grown in love with all of the characters in this game. This is such a fucking... <laughs> the exhilarating adventures of Archibald Excelsior, Ace Exterminator, and the Plague of the Manti-Man, issue one of... Oh! Oh, I just got them all hanging around my house now! Or at least just the first one. Oh, also I got this. Uh, I don't know if I ever showed you guys. The llama scientifically referred to as Llama Glama. It's a domesticated herbivore. Uh, weighing an average of some 250 pounds, they are tall, friendly, warm, trusting, and delicious. When fighting by the sound of pa when frightened by the sound of a passing starship, llamas produce a cry of alarm compared to a stalling engine or a donkey being fed to a wood chipper. Don't describe it like that. Llamas are notably larger than, and therefore more superior to, the lowly alpaca. The alpaca is a murderous fiend compared to the noble and refined llama. Contrary to popular myth, llamas don't have beaks. Why would that be the myth? Why would people believe? Okay, so I was looking at my science. I have no idea what this does. 
It apparently uses up ammo when I do that. I don't know what this does. I need to test out all of the science weapons. I need to perform science. Uh, let's... Trash. Ellie's got Lucky right now. <clears throat> I think Lucky's honestly a better gun for her, but... I can't put plasma. I, f I want her to have Lucky. I feel like Lucky's better for her than me because I'm just going to get the biggest, baddest gun. And not, not saying that that's not a good gun that she has. Also, I might not give her back her Jolter pistol. I might do... <clears throat> well... <laughs> no, that auto mag isn't any better. Doctor's orders. I want to incorporate the science weapon. I need to, uh, I need to start, e um, experimenting. Uh, so actually what I'm going to do, is I have <coughs> all of my science weapons. I'm going to put them all together. Bam. Inventory. Put all the science weapons together. I don't need that anymore. Uh, that's my sword. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, flamethrower. Uh, I don't even... Is that for me? I don't think that's for me. No. That one... Junk. <clears throat> special delivery. Cause I, yeah, because I have special delivery. Um... Maybe means that I should give. When Yoka has light machine, maybe I should give her a laser gun. Yeah, she is good with lasers. <clears throat> oh, she might be good with the pet. Oh. Oh. Oh, it does tell you how much damage it does. Did they add that? Was that a new patch? Was that in a patch? They didn't do that at the beginning, I don't think. I might be completely wrong. That's really cool. I'll do this real quick. Okay, so... Oh, wait. Can I... Tinker all of my science weapons? Alright, so I tinkered with everything. I ran out of bits. So I didn't get to tinker with everything. But I did boost... Pet, I believe, yes, the pet, um, <clears throat> the shrink ray, uh, mind control ray, yeah, those three. We are receiving an oh. incoming signal, Captain. Captain, I see you've made some headway on Gorgon. Mother's old work terminal just lit up with a bunch of new protocols. Very exciting. What about Mother's Journal? Any progress there? Oh, baby. Wait, what does that mean? Wait, has Minnie been lying to me? Oh, oh, because... Oh, because she just underplayed what Gorgon was. Okay. Okay. That's easy. Yeah, that's easy. Okay. Are you accusing me of deception? Captain, I would never. Can you hear me, Captain? I'm getting some interference on my end. Captain. <clears throat> Captain! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I don't think many knew. Hello again, little weasel. <laughs> it is her! I must admit, you've surprised me. I threw nearly everything I had at you. And you overcame it all. So you're the one who put the Gorgon facility on lockdown. Well spotted, Captain. Bitch. We both played our roles well, but it seems you've got the edge. I may have gravely underestimated you. You left the vent open. You were smart to hire her, Wilhelmina. Well done. Mother, you're alive! And I'm still on Gorgon?
I'm just gonna listen quietly. This is so you, mother. Inserting yourself where you aren't needed and at the worst possible time. <sighs> Am I disrupting your vanity project? You empty-headed little twit. Am I missing something? Mother is going to fill your head with lies about me and Gorgon. Don't listen. Have you come back just to ruin everything again, Mother? At least this time, I have the power to stop you. Captain, this is a distraction. Let's set our differences aside and focus on what matters. Adrena time must never be revived. Revive the project? I may not have told you all of the facts, but I'm going to lay out everything I know. You can decide for yourself what to do with it. By now, you realize that Project Gorgon was devoted to a single drug, Adrena Time. A drug that hit the market in spite of calamitous side effects. Spacer's Choice dumped a lot of money into Adrena Time. Because they believed it could help Halcyon. I still believe it can. Benny. The project was a colossal failure. But you and I are going to revive it from the ashes. Yeah, let's make more of a drug that turns people into deranged killers. Great plan. Adrena time was a lie. Our drug will fulfill its broken promise for workers and employers across the colony. It's not a promise you should Mother be making! Equal to the task. People Thanks need to rest. They both. don't need I'm to be worked mother. to the bone for weeks on end without sleep. The promise of Adrena time is a fucking capitalist dystopian nightmare. Fuck that. I don't know. Come on, Minnie. Don't do this. Give us some thought, Captain. We've come so far together. No! Don't abandon me now. No! Mother's journal contains the activation codes for the Adrena Time Synthesizer, the key to a new Project Gorgon. We're going to start again, and this time with everything Project Gorgon didn't have. Better R&D, better scientists, clear goals, more funding, and a timeline that makes sense. You think that's all it's going to take? Trust me, that's plenty. Mother never let me near the family business, but she taught me how not to manage a team. If I can improve the chemistry, I can fix Adrena time. We can put this colony back on track together. Olivia, give me your side now. Finally, a sensible question. <clears throat> I am the head of Project Gorgon, its grand mastermind. I created Adrena Time because I believed, arrogantly, foolishly, that I could uplift the common man through chemistry. I failed. Now, my daughter wants to take up my mantle. Not on my watch. We're not gonna let this happen. We're gonna stop her. Together. If she insists on holding to course, I agree. We must. My work has already destroyed countless lives. We can't let her do so again out of pride and sentiment. What about my life, Mother? The Ambrose name has no dignity anymore. I can't even show my face around Byzantium without being the gossip of the town. You've got to be fucking kidding me. It's no laughing matter, Captain. What good can I do if I have no influence? How can I fix society if I can't even take out a loan? Every day, workers slump over from exhaustion. The gears of industry swallow them whole, and no one is coming to this help. This is going to just push them further into, into that hole. We can't fit into the schedule. The office with a window we can't afford to build. It's the <clears> best <throat> this rotten colony can do for people. No, it's not. Drugs? Drugs are the best you, you can do? It's a bandage, not a cure. Halcyon is wounded, and I will do everything in my power to stop the bleeding. 
Don't let those bloodless leeches at Spacer's Choice walk you down this perilous path, Wilhelmina. You haven't the fortitude to endure it. As usual, Mother projects her failures onto me. If she had let me get involved from the start, we might have avoided this calamity altogether. You're just trying to prove yourself to your mom. My intentions are greater than some family squabble. Besides, Mother is the one who should be proving herself to me. Fuck your intentions. What have you done? I always suspected you were nothing more than an empty-headed social climber. This confirms it. <sighs> you see what I mean? Mother is afraid of being outdone by her empty-headed daughter, and she'll do anything to stop me. If I can save the colony and redeem the Ambrose family name, I owe it to myself to try. Mother be damned. Talk to your fucking mom! Yeah, Adrena Time is just a stimulant. What do you think it's gonna do? With Adrena Time, we can increase worker productivity orders of magnitude above ordinary stems and risk none of the harmful side effects. Imagine if we flooded Maybe. the market with drugs that actually helped people. We could influence the very business model of obsessing over productivity is not helping people. It's, yeah, it's cruelty, not productivity, you dumb bitch. We won't be exploiting workers any longer. We'll be celebrating them, giving them everything they need to succeed. You're no, lost. This is madness. You're completely the project, lost. The complex, it has to be destroyed, razed to the ground. It's the only way. That project was chaos. It does not deserve a second chance. That was Mother's doing. When the research didn't live up to her expectations, she shut it down. Does that sound familiar to you? Because it does to me. I need that facility online, but I can't do it while Mother's still a problem. By now, she'll have shut down the Gorgon reactor. Deal with her however it suits you, and get that facility back up and running. Don't do this, Wilhelmina. Minnie, don't make this choice. Adrena time is our future. It's bigger than money, bigger than family. It's the colony's best hope. Are you willing to take this chance? What if it all goes wrong, just like before? Then that's blood on your hands. If Mother tries to get in your way, you have my permission to defend yourself. No matter the cost. That's not what this I meant. This is absurd. You must That's not what I meant. That's not what I thought that meant at all. <laughs> Gorgon has to be put down, Minnie, for good. I'm glad you see things clearly. Here's what you must do. Return to my family's manor, Captain. Use the executive override code in my journal to activate the NDA protocol for my terminal. It will destroy the Gorgon drug synthesizer and put an end to Adrena time for good. Minnie's not gonna allow that. My daughter's gotten her hooks into you. I understand. She's always at a knack for manipulating people. I don't want to kill her. But I know you're more than her foolish little puppet. You've survived this long. You have to be more. I just don't want to kill her. She will try to force you to fight her. You don't have to. Okay. In fact, I would ask you not to. Whatever mistake she might make, she... She is still my daughter. You don't have to Captain. worry. In light of recent events, I'm putting the manor under lockdown. Until Mother is dealt with, anyone who lands here is presumed hostile. Finish the job. I know you won't disappoint me. I'll be in touch.
Ada. Set a course for Ambrose Manor. The only way to give her a chance The only way to give her a chance to change is to take any option to revive Project Gor- Any chance of reviving Project Gorgon must be eliminated. That's the only way Minnie might be able to eventually see reason. That's all I can do. <coughs> All I can do. Don't worry, drinks. Stay on your guard, Captain. I think she's expecting us. I, I don't think damn well. we're getting a warm welcome this time. Come on. Unexpected. Good work, Parvati. Stand down. Unlock elevator. Okay, so I thought the terminal led downstairs. If not, I thought that was. Ooh, ooh, uh, okay. Me. <clears throat> um. There we go. Is it done? Let's go. <clears throat> I'll admit, I was expecting a wine cellar. Nothing good ever come out of a place like this, Captain. There's test subjects here? Our test subjects. Jeebies. I 
fighting. Oh my god. I don't know what that does. What does that even do? Hold on, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna load back. <laughs> These science weapons, I feel like, are very niche. And probably not the best to use. Alright. Alright, girls. Forget what I said moments ago. Stand up. I'll admit, I was expecting a wine cellar. Ain't nothing good ever come out of a place like this, Captain. Gives me the heebie-jeebies. Real slick. Hear that? Tell oh. him how it's done! Nice one! That's the last of them. Ugh. Got it. Use my voices. What? Oh, am I bleed? I'm bleeding. Okay. Come on. <clears throat> What's this? More stuff? Hacking skill too low. We'll see about that. We'll see about that. We saw about that. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. There we go. Oh, I've never seen one of those before. Seems kind of dangerous. I'm trying to take these people out as painlessly as possible. That's like actually my goal here with the sniper rifle is just to make sure that they uh, don't suffer. Come on. Let's go, bitch. Bam! All right. Now I think it's safe to say the girls can stand down because I am not going to kill Minnie. I really don't want to. I suppose if I have to, I will, but... Test subjects are being stored in vats, just like the scientists at the other facilities. Dang, that's impressive. That's right. Come at me. Let's go. Here I go. Yeah.
I'm good. Ellie, get up. We gotta go. Oh boy. Lots of loot, lots of loot, lots of loot. They know how to reward your players. Oh boy. Oh, I'm over encumbered now. Well, that's no bueno. Uh, but. Only 50 meters away, which means I can probably switch very soon. Very quickly switch to that. Mm-hmm. Workbench, nice. You got nimble fingers, Captain. You're about to find out. <laughs> uh, shit. A terminal. Let's bust into it. Open most recent. Miss Ambrose, these projections are indeed encouraging. Unfortunately, without your mother's access code, we're going to have to have a beast of a time warming up the Drenosime synthesizer. Synthesizer. What about Olivia's journal? It seems to recall her scribbling down everything, scri scribbling everything down, or at least everything she didn't murmur onto that voice of hers. I remember hiring freelancer to research the office and synthesis and manufacturing center, someone capable but disposable. Once we have the journal spacer's choice, we'll see to that that you're properly compensated. Don't contact us again. We'll contact you. Lucian Bancroft. That motherfucker. He's the master behind all of it. Mr. Bancroft, my name is Wilhelmina Ambrose. Prior to the death, you were in business with my mother. My mother was wrong to shut down R&D for Adrian time, and Spixer's Choice was wrong to listen to her. I'm sending some financial productions and chemical plans I've drafted over the years. You'll want to read them closely. The potential for a new Adrian time formula, one that works, is unlimited. I await your reply. warn you not to set foot in here until the job was hold on hold on i want to have my i want to have the proper gear on before i talk to her just this okay let's just make sure it knows that i read this because i like uh the most recent arena time Done. That last little bit of info is probably going to come into play when we talk to her, but let's go. Didn't I warn you not to set foot in here until the job was done? You should have listened to my advice. Let's talk about this, Minnie. There's nothing to discuss. I can fix Adrena time without you, and certainly without Mother. You wasted your time coming here, and worse, you wasted mine. But I won't let anything stand in the way of progress. I will reload my autosave, but this is not the right way. What if you and your mother joined forces to cure the Marauders? You'll surprise me, Captain. Once we fix the chemistry of Adrena time, the Marauder problem will simply take care of itself. No, it won't! But a lot of folks are gonna suffer in the meantime, and you don't even know if it'll work. The days of the old Adrena time are numbered, and Marauders are bound for extinction. I thought you wanted to help people, not let them die. Insane people addicted to drugs are mother's problem. Am I to be held accountable for her mess? It ain't about who's accountable. Those people are hurting, and they're hurting others. You could help them. Besides, mother is determined to ruin everything she touches. First Adrena time, then our family, and now my ambition. Why not give her a chance? She's been involved with a... Yeah, uh, okay, sorry. Uh, I was just making sure that's not implying that they work together to revive Andrina time. Why not involve... 
no, and not give her a chance. She's been involved with Adrena Time from the start. She never gave me a chance. Forbade it. I see no reason why she deserves a second one. And what about you, ma'am? Don't you deserve a chance to fix your troubles with her? Don't you both deserve that? Mother never led me anywhere near R&D. I was always her incompetent little brat. If you won't compromise down, this doesn't have to get ugly. Stand down? I think not, Captain. People want to buy clean drugs, and I want to sell them. Under my leadership, Adrena Time will live up to its promise, unlike certain mothers. Adrena Time is a disaster. Its legacy needs to end. Do you know why it was a disaster? Rushed production, cut corners, and a failure to communicate. Mother's mistakes. It was a broken mine. dream from the get-go. You get don't know much about how things get made here, do you? My drug will be the pride and joy of the Ambrose family. And if we pick up where Gorgon left off, then the human testing phase is well ahead of schedule. I don't want to fight you. Please don't force my hand. Farewell, Captain. If it wasn't already obvious, you're... <laughs> Killer Queen, Dai San no Bakudan, Baita Dusto. I don't need Felix. I have vodka. I don't need Felix. I have vodka. Guys. <laughs> guys, 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 guys. Guess what? Guess what? Spacers. Guess fucking what? Boost my personality attributes. Talk to Olivia Ambrose or Mini Ambrose. Boom. There we go. Uh, let's grab all this shit. Put it in before. Uh, when I reloaded the save. Very good. Very good. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. We got this. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, Mini. Didn't I warn you? All right, so I made all the same choices up to here. Mother le never led me anywhere near R&D. I was always her incompetent little brat. Persuade 150. The Adrian Project time... The Adrian Time Project failed, Minnie. You couldn't have saved it. You don't know that. Gorgon was my chance to do something incredible. Gorgon was never yours to save. You need to let it go. Let it go? Just like that? You make it sound so trivial. Mother taught me to never accept failure, to never settle for less. Compromising my plan goes against everything I know. This isn't failure. It's a second chance for both of you to work together, to be a mother and daughter like you weren't before. I suppose it is high time Mother and I spoke on equal terms and without death threats. I was so eager to make Adrena Time my legacy, to give it a second chance. But maybe it's my family that deserves a second chance. God, I can't believe I'm saying this, but... If you see Mother, tell her I'm willing to work something out. She can even come over for tea. Or something stronger. It's awful big of you, being willing to mend fences after what all happened. I'm sure you won't mind if I remain here. Just to guarantee that you keep your side of the bargain. That's fair. I won't try anything. For your sake, I hope not. It's funny, Captain. I hired you to break the family curse. And it would appear you've succeeded. Just not the way I intended. I'll speak with Olivia. Be seeing you. Good luck with Mother. I suppose you'll need it. Now, let's go. She she's she's letting me turn off the things, right? Hey, Minnie. Be careful around mother. She's more vicious than she looks. 
Wait, aren't you letting me turn things off? Hold on. Killer Queen! Alright, so I went back to right after I said that the legacy needed to die. You won't know that until you start testing. The drug may fail, or will die. How could you live with having all that weight on your conscience? Do human trials make you squeamish? Is that why you're so invested in our family squabble? Captain, I'm disappointed. The trials will succeed. They will not fail. And if they do, then at least I'm no worse than Mother. Did you really just get into this business to repeat her mistakes? Well, shit. I can see that you have a point there. I'm about to become my mother. <laughs> That's the last thing I thought I wanted, yet here I am. I'm sure you didn't... I'm sure Olivia didn't want you to inherit her awful development. You know what? I think I hate being an heiress. All I got out of the deal was Mother's unfinished business. I didn't even get to have any fun. It's never too late to change, Minnie. A lot of jobs out there for half-decent freelancers. And most of the competition ends up like lucky. This is very I have different. Some soul searching ahead of me, Captain. You can do what you came for. I won't stand in your way. As far as I'm concerned, the project is over. For good this time. Smart call. This way we won't have to kill each other. Aren't I the lucky one? Alright. Because I am entirely on Wilhelmina's side. Or not Wilhelmina's side. I'm on both their sides. I'm with Olivia. Honestly, I do think that she doesn't really have to forgive her mother. <laughs> uh, but if that was the route it was going to go, I was hoping to see. Hopefully, maybe there's a glimmer of good left in Olivia. And there is, obviously. But I don't know if she's going to... I actually like that there's branching ways to do this. Logs, absentee parent, Livia, doctor, mother, I rest my fingers on these keys. I read your words, but I don't feel any closer to you. You're a stranger, someone who peers out at me from a cold, reflective screen. You should have let me in. I hope that was just synthesis and manufacturing. You finished it, Captain. You've put Gorgon down once and for all. And you've left my daughter alive to see it done. Thank you for that gift, Captain. She I also wanted her daughter to, to see things. She wanted to talk to her yet. daughter. Join me for a toast in the drawing room. I do believe they do reunite in the end. No matter what. Stay armed and ready, Captain. I still don't trust her. Hand to law, Captain. I mean you no harm. It's a date. No, it most certainly is not. Quit fooling around and meet me upstairs. <laughs> I'll have a drink waiting. It most certainly is not. Fine then. Minnie, are you gonna come upstairs? Gorgon is finished. But Halcyon hasn't seen the last of Minnie Ambrose. I wish she got a new lease on life, and I think there's still a chance for her to reconnect with her mom. An open door. There's an open door now, but it's not nearly as open as it was with the other app. I think I like this significantly better, especially since I got to blow something up, dude. I got to blow some shit up. Olivia Amber. Screech. <laughs> Have we? Week one. Been how long has it been since anyone asked old Mayberry to tidy up the planters or to rake the garden? Miss Ollie hasn't Miss Ollie hasn't shouted for me in ages, and I can't think of the last time Mr. Harvey came down to marvel at his fish. Where is everyone? I've eaten so many beans, but I don't tolerate them best in. I don't tolerate them in the best of times. 
I dare not go to the mansion in search of food. Think of the dust that's cascade off my unworthy shoulders and onto the fine tile. And go inside. Won't go inside. I don't belong. I'm not of the family. The beans. But I won't trespass, even though the house is empty. I'm not of the family. The Automex know. They watch my every move. The cave is where I belong. I miss a lot. There's no telling how long I've been. She got leaves and burying my excrement in the yard. No one's coming for old Mayberry. Loyal Mayberry. Eith. Maybe. No. He's the one who suffered the most. 16 bullets. Locked away. He's the one who suffered most. Am I gonna find Mayberry's body? I don't wanna find Mayberry's body. Dude. It's gonna be so sad. Or did I already find his body? Can't remember. No, I didn't. Please seek and remember this unit as it were. Drinks! <laughs> Drinks, my poor guy! Uh, this is a long episode, but this is the finale of Carol on Gorgon. I am fully content with that. Can I see Gorgon from here? No. Olivia! Olivia! I'm here. Uh, let's have a drink. Captain, I believe a celebration is in order. The Gorgon Project is dead, and we are not. <sighs> Having the weirdest stage out of it. Hey, if you don't want it, I'll drink it. <laughs> Speak up, Captain. I can't hear a thing when you mumble like that. That I'm having the greatest time. Forget I said anything. Aren't you a funny one? Shall we toast? I didn't do this for you. Your motives interest me less than your actions, Captain. What matters is that when forced to choose sides, you picked Halcyons. That's my point. I picked Halcyon's side, not yours. My side is Halcyon's. It always has been. It's funny. When Spacer's Choice released Adrena Time to the public and began the Marauder Crisis, and I sabotaged all the Gorgon facilities, I thought that was the end for me. Then you came along and changed everything. I find myself at loose ends now, Captain. What happens next? Well, I've got some questions you could answer. I'll gladly humor one or two for the executioner of Gorgon. I hope she lets me ask all of these. Why did you start the Adrena Time project to begin with? Before I explain, there's a critical detail you must understand. Halcyon is in the midst of a slow-moving crisis, one that will not improve on its own. Trust me, I know. The board knows this, but they're not lifting a finger to address it. In the absence of their leadership, I thought I could bridge the gap. So I tried to create a drug to expand our workers' minds and improve their bodies, help them work harder, longer, and smarter. With everyone at their best, I thought the colony might be able to innovate itself out of this hole. I had not. That one perk, that one law at the beginning that dropped my 
fucking perception down by one, I would have been able to say this. This is what I want to say. I want to say that that sounds uncomfortably like eugenics, because it does. <laughs> the colony might be better off if the folks in Byzantium actually did their fair share. Who's going to make them do it? You? The board? Sorry to disappoint. But very few of those asses in Byzantium are worth more than the cushy chairs they sit in. They'd rather parade their canids and freeze themselves in the name of vanity. They're a lost cause. If Spacer's choice had given me time to perfect I Adrenatine, I, to go kill I know I could again. have done it. I My drug could have saved Halcyon. One more time. Pretty robust messiah complex you got there. I wouldn't expect you to understand my life, just as I can't begin to understand yours. I am as circumstance has required me to be. But I don't deny your point, Captain. I craved the glory and virtue of success. When you learn how to resist the pull of the beasts at the root of your nature, do let me know. Was there anything else you wanted to discuss before I bid you farewell? Did you- were you really the saboteur behind all of the Gorgon facilities? I certainly did. Spacer's Choice's negligence sent Halcyon into a tailspin, and they refused to pull Adrena time from the market to stop it. They forced my hand. I ended the project the only way I could, by destroying everything. Why not blow up the facility right then? I had faith a strapping heroine would come along someday and do it for me. See, you call me I'm strapping, but you wouldn't let us go on a, a date. From the blue. Or the black, How am I supposed to be strapping if I can't get my strap out? Perception and persuade. Oh, combos. What's the real reason? Two reasons, actually. I couldn't bear to kill so many of my staff. Even though our work killed exponentially more colonists. She couldn't directly kill people. And? I didn't want to give up on my research, even after all it had cost us. In those early days of the Marauder epidemic, I still believed I could fix Adrena time. Denial. As time went on, I became convinced I could cure the Marauders. Bargaining. But once again, Spacer's choice has forced my hand. This time through my daughter. And I have to let that dream die too. Acceptance. <laughs> Grief was through many. How did you sabotage things exactly? I began by shredding all of the personnel files in the Office of Creative Incubation. Clarence was so alarmed by my barbarism, he forgot to call the corporate guard. All his precious numbers and all their precious rows. I should have set fire to them. What next? I released the test subjects from human inquiry and auditing. The ghastly things we did to those people. Marion was screaming, I think. Though by this point, my memory's hazy. Everything had gone a bit red. My blood was up, you know. If anyone had dared to stop me, I would have snapped them in two. Earl Bob. In the chem lab? Ah, compound harvesting, enrichment, and molecularization. My second home. Well, my first home, really. Jasper had been doing some personal work there after hours. Something about primals and mirror neurons. I set the primals free. They tore through the lab like it was made of wet toilet paper. The primals slaughtered the scientists. I know. I remember. I wasn't myself by then. Grief and horror had taken me to a dark place. Anyway, that's how it happened. Gorgon's first fall. It's not a pretty tale, but the truth rarely is. Thanks for clearing that up. I would say my pleasure, but there's nothing very pleasant about this. 
Where have you been hiding? Five years. Down there. On Gorgon. Must have been lonely. It was. But I had my work to keep me company. I did find work her house. And a great many number of ghosts. The observatory. The observatory. Where I found those audio logs. Though that's where she was living all of this time. Why on earth did you stay? You couldn't bother to let Minnie know you were alive? Knowing I lived would have only put her at risk. I destroyed Spacer's Choice's premier research facility. If they'd hurt her to get to me, I'd never forgive myself. Well, why stay there? I was obsessed with the notion that I might find a cure for the Marauders. That I could right the tremendous wrong we'd done to them. I don't think... I think I was a little mad. Perhaps I still am. I suggested that earlier. I was like, I wanted to do it all on my own. It mentioned own, like their brains getting eaten. To fix everything myself, but the problem of the Marauders was too complex for me to solve. And with Gorgon gone, it will remain that way. Uh, yeah, because that's basically trying to develop a. Because they mentioned that the a lot of the symptoms that were happening to their brains was the same as dementia or Alzheimer's. So. Fixing that's really near impossible because brain tissue is so hard to repair. Even if you do, their brains won't fully be back together. The, you know, impulses, it's going to be new brain matter. It's not going to be the same brain matter that was there before. It's not going to hold the same memories, the same information. I mean, they would get better over time if you re-educated them. But, I mean, honestly, in order to fix... What happened to the Marauders, not only do you have to figure out what full effects the N-Rays had on them, and that Adrena Time had on them, but you have to also, in tandem with that, find a cure for Alzheimer's. <laughs> That's a big task. One that I don't think Minnie and Olivia could have done. I, did, I said it there because I thought that's the route that the game wanted me to go, but just admitted it right there. It's not possible, which realistically, it might not be. It's unfortunate. We can't fix the Marauders. I'm surprised none of the Marauders killed you. Not for lack of trying. I had some close calls in the early years. But Marauders aren't especially observant. Easy enough to tiptoe past with practice. I know that. Now the most important question. What happened between you and me? Children do not remain so forever. She grew up, and we grew apart. I could have tried harder to reach her, to support her. I know. But I confess, I always found my work more engaging than child-rearing. And Minnie and I had so little in common. In the end, my distance seemed a blessing. Sounds like the whole growing apart thing was all your fault. I don't deny that. I don't regret it either. For all the pain it brought us both, it made her strong. That's twisted. She tried to get me to kill you. What daughter hasn't wanted to kill her mother from time to time? If anything, I admire her follow through. What else might I answer for you before you go, Captain? All right, Olivia just proved me wrong. There is no open door. Of course. Anything else? Or shall I let you see yourself out? Have you thought about where you're going from here? Maybe I'll find a handsome little bolt hole out there in the Aether and endeavor to keep a low profile, as they say. Maybe I'll pick up a soothing, useless hobby, like watercolor painting. Spacer's Choice will want to take their turn at revenge, and I'd rather not be within reach when they do. Spacer's Choice will find you eventually. They very well might. 
Spacer's choice doesn't have the best assassins in the business, but they do have the most of them. I'll take it a day at a time. Run when I have to, hide when I can. There's no glory in it, but I'm eager to put those days behind me. Where will the future lead you, Captain? I've got a mad scientist. I'd expect nothing less from the hero of Gorgon. In any case, I do believe this is the end. Law willing, Adrena time is dead for good, and the Marauders will die out with it. Goodbye, Captain, and thank you again. May the stellar wind be ever at your back. Goodbye, Olivia, and good luck. She proved that there's no hope for her to reunite with Minnie. The way she talked about her, she hasn't learned. She learned her lesson about Gorgon, but she didn't learn her lesson about parenthood. It's alright. Just because their family doesn't mean you need to love them. Besides, family of your own. Well, with that, we've reached the end. Of the Peril on Gorgon DLC. Like, comment, subscribe if you want. Share this with someone you know, and... I... I'll see you all at the beginning of the next deal. Death on Eridanos. time to say goodbye to Gorgon. One last. Peace.